What's up everybody, Katja here and I'm back with another furniture tutorial. This week we're going to completely transform this vanity with a stool. The inspiration for this piece came from this chair that I found on Pinterest and my brain exploded. To get this vanity ready for painting, I will be cleaning it today with crud cutter, TSP substitute and I will be using this little vacuum to clean the fabric on the stool. So bad I will have to paint this inside as well because this is in horrible shape I don't think this was ever cleaned I just realized that this door has to be glued because it's falling apart. But that's an easy fix, that's not a big problem. We fixed the drawer, we prepped the piece, and now it's time to paint. I will be using Annie Sloan Old White and Capri Pink to try and achieve that color that I saw on Pinterest. And I will pour 150 milliliters in this container of Old White and 50 milliliters of Capri Pink. And let's see how that uh, ratio is looking. It's a little over 150. Your smile. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There be no wars. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees. So my color is little different than the one I uh, saw on the picture, but that's fine. I actually very much like this color. Uh, reminds me of bubblegum pink. That is, for, this is for me bubblegum pink. Maybe for some people it's not, but for me it is. And I very much like this one. So I'm just going to stick with it and start painting. So since the piece is in pretty rough shape, I'm not going to try to achieve that beautiful smooth finish. I'm actually going to create some texture using Anislon a brush. This is medium brush and tapping and painting in every which direction. And I decided not to paint this area here. I'm going to put gold leaf straight on it because when you put so much paint on this side and on the other side, then you will have too much, I don't know what. Dreaming of you. 
So now I'm going to make watery paint and I'm going to use that on this fabric, on this tool, because the fabric is in horrible conditions. Could spread your love. What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. When painting fabric with uh, chalk paint, I think the biggest mistake we all make is trying to use it just as a paint on fabric and it doesn't work. You have to use it as a dye. Now that I'm done with the chair, my first coat is dry and I'm going to add the second coat to everything. I think I will have to mix some more paint. I have very little left here. Today is the day three. I'm applying some transfers and doing a gold leafing. And I think I'm going to decoupage the bottom of the drawers as well. And let's see how everything goes. So now I will be applying this rose quartz. Uh, it's a beautiful transfer, new release, fall release from Redesign with Prima. I will be using these flowers here. I think they look gorgeous and they're going to match my look perfectly. The transfer comes in three, three sheets. This is one and this is two and this is the one I will be using. These flowers here and this is the third sheet. So what I'm thinking to do here is to split this one in half and use one half here and use the other half on the other side. First, I'm going to cut this flower out. So now that I have this, I have to find the middle, which is one, two, three, four, five. So the middle is middle of this one. And you remove it, it's a silky part. You throw that away and you got this transfer now. So be very care careful, Tack. you don't wanna be touching this. You don't want to touch that. You just want to put that directly onto the surface of where you want your transfer. So we're just gonna go slowly now. So we get nice and smooth and we don't have any bubbles. And even if you have bubbles, that's no big deal, we can fix it. Now I will be using this stick that comes, it with, that comes with a transfer and I'm just going to rub it. It's very easy, nothing hard. So when you lift it, you lift it slowly and see if everything have transferred. If haven't, you see this one is not transferring. I will put it back down and I'm going to rub it some more. Just take your time and don't rush it. I usually love to go around the edges first. Okay. I'm going to gold leaf these areas here, all the edges around. So that's why I did the transfer first, because that way I can cover this with gold leaf. And it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to gold leaf, as I said, the around it. So I'm not so being worried about how I cut it. I just wanna make sure the edges are good. It's pretty good. And you apply it. So this looks beautiful. 
I love it so much. And this uh, transfer has some, it looks like a watercolor or I don't know how you call this, but kind of looks like has a texture. It has some vintage feel to it, so I love it. So what I got here is a gold leaf. This is actually imitation of gold leaf. I ordered real gold leaf and it came in such a small package and it's so expensive. So this is actually an imitation. I got it, I get it on Amazon. It's this, I will leave you a link. This is gilding size and that is a gold leaf glue. And I will be using a little brush. Everywhere you put the glue, that is where the gold leaf is going to stick. You want to give it some time to dry before you attach the gold leaf on the glue. You don't want this to be white. The reason I'm putting gold leaf instead of uh, gilding wax is because I want that intensity that gold leaf has and that gilding wax doesn't have. I want that bright gold and the only way to get that is with uh, foils. And again with this you just have to take your time. No rushing here. Every time I try rushing gold leaf it came out ugly. So no rushing today. I'm using a very soft makeup uh, brush and first I go over with that one. That's how I like to do and then I go with a harder brush. That's my little technique and that's what I, how I like to do it. So I have an idea to put the transfer on the mirror as well. So I'm going to clean it first and apply the transfer. I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. I kind of like this. See, we was cool. I'm going to start with this one. When I got him down and pinched, I took a break, I had to leave and go get cleansed. God forgive me for all my sins. I can't say these, cause my lad name ain't kid. Cooking on the stove, that's the way he paid the rent. Working on the pole, that's the way she pays the wish. Better watch your soul, cause you know they trying to get it. Yeah, yeah, I learned my right from wrong. Here we go, and I'm not going to put any protection because you don't need. Okay, so now I'm going to get some gilding wax and put it over here, this area that I left it unpainted. I decided to go with wax because wax on wax is actually going to slide better instead of rubbing uh, off each other. I'm also going to paint this part as well. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Uh, I'm going to use Mother Masters uh, clear top coat to protect gold leaf. And the reason I'm using this is because this top coat is designed to protect metallic paint. So it keeps that shine. It doesn't make your uh, metallics dull. The reason I'm using this little brush is because I don't want to go over to the pink area. The pink uh, chalk paint is going to be protected with uh, clear wax and the reason is that because I don't want, I don't like how 
uh, top coats give chalk paint look, that artificial plasticky look. So I'm going to stick with clear wax. Even though I love this, it's somehow I'm not feeling it, how it's matching the rest of the design I'm going for. So I'm going to try to remove this and put some different fabric on top of it. And we have this nice stool. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a nice fabric that looks like a furry blanket. Hopefully I find it. And I'm just going to wrap that around and staple it on the bottom and put it on top. I found this fabric at Joanne and I really like it. So I just wanted to let you know that I'm not pro at this. So I'm going to try and do the best job I can. But again, I'm warning you, I'm not professional in changing fabric on stools. Working. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it wasn't so hard. Oh, look at this, so pretty now. So pretty, I think this is way better. And now I have to get rid of all this, it's a lot. So I think I need to do some cutting. God, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It looks like a princess vanity. So princess vanity cannot be dirty inside. It's actually stains that I call them clean and all drawers are in bad shape at the bottom. So I'm going to put some decoupage paper to uh, hide that because we don't want that. Since the piece is so beautiful, we want to make it beautiful inside and outside. I will be using a flower market decoupage paper from the design with Prima. This is a beautiful, romantic and happy paper and I will be putting it inside just on the bottom. So I think this looks gorgeous. Imagine when you open those drawers and everything is so beautiful. So I think this is perfection. I'm going to actually do this, it's pretty easy to work with this paper. I can tell you this is one of the easiest papers to decoupage out there. I'm just going to try to like shape it like this. And I'm going to use that. You see how that was, that came out so nice and easy and straight. So I'm going to cut that one. Here you go. And now I'm going to do this. And just cut it there. I'm using soft matte gel as my glue for my decoupage paper. I'm just going to apply it all over inside. You just wanna make sure you apply thick and everywhere. And I'll just position it nice and smooth. It's beautiful. I'm just gonna put one more coat on top.
finally, to protect everything, I'm using clear wax and I will put the hardware back on and we're done. Oh, that's nice. I like the how tall it is. And you have a mirror in front of you and your things in here. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. <laughs> This is so beautiful. I didn't even imagine it to be this pretty. I promise you. This took its own turn and I am so in love with it. I think it's so happy and bright and positive. And this is a perfect princess vanity or a queen vanity. If I still have a little table to match uh, a set from this to finish and I will be posting this on Etsy for sale. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time with a new project and more ideas. Bye guys.